My name is Kathy, and 89% of you are likely to have more healthy and functional brain tissue in your head than I do. I am experiencing accelerated brain atrophy due to the length of time I've had this illness, poor lifestyle choices and treatment choices that I made along my journey, and uh, the fact that I got it before there was anything that could really help it, like the disease-modifying therapies that exist today. Today, however, my tone uh, is brought to you by a little anger, not with you, but a little anger or a lot of anger, maybe. My look is brought to you by it's hot outside and I just walked my dog a mile. So let's talk about something that really makes me angry. And that's not what I want to say. American healthcare is morally sick. People profit from our bad luck, and that's disgusting, and it should disgust everyone. Now, what do I mean by profit? I mean the people who have no direct participation in our actual care. They're the people in buildings somewhere across the state or in a different state or in some city somewhere that are pulling money out of the healthcare system that could be going for our care and they're handing it out as bonuses, stock breaks, all sorts of ridiculous things that should not happen because you and I are sick. No one should make a profit from us being sick. That is morally wrong. It's morally wrong. Can I make this point any stronger? So I said this was going to be a video about pre-existing conditions, which is a phrase that should scare the living heck out of you. Pre-existing conditions uh, prior to 19 or 2006, 20, ugh, whenever Obama was elected two years after that, um, pre-existing conditions created a myriad of problems. I could not advance in my career, even with a four-year college degree, because I could not switch insurances without having my pre-existing condition of multiple sclerosis since age 22 covered. I knew that the most important thing in my life was having health insurance. So I didn't move jobs. I didn't even bother to apply because I knew the game. I knew how many times my father had applied for other jobs but couldn't take them because my mother had MS. Now, I am sorry that I'm so angry about this, but I've just received a few pieces of interesting news that really have me torqued. And every time you see me pause, it's because I'm thinking of a terrible cuss word. Um, okay. So what did I receive? I received a denial for an MRI with a neuroquant. Okay, granted, I have had one uh, within the past year. Um, and the problem is that I'm in the 11th percentile. My brain is shrinking. I need to have that tracked. My doctor ordered the MRI test with the neuroquant, and that was denied by my insurance company. And I don't think it was because they didn't have enough money to pay for it. I think it was because some CEO needed a bonus. Some chief financial officer told them, don't pay whatever you think you don't have to pay. And that's disgusting, especially when my physical health and my knowledge of my treatment and whether or not it is helpful to me is based on knowing how much my brain is shrinking throughout time. Okay, so that's the first thing that happened that really got me torqued. Okay, the second thing, oh, they did, uh, they did agree to, however, a regular MRI, which isn't going to show them anything really except that my brain is seriously small and messed up. Okay, the second thing that got me torqued is uh, getting a notice from my uh, disability insurance company that they are going to be dropping the disability recipients off of healthcare and transitioning us into, quote unquote, the open market. The open market. And how they can do that is beyond me. 
when we don't even know if we're going to have an open market in 2021 when they want to do this. They are trying to kill the Affordable Care Act. And if they kill the Affordable Care Act, we lose four important protections. And because I am so upset about this, here are those four Obamacare, Obamacare. The, um, the Affordable Health Care is Obamacare. If you don't believe me, pause this, open a new tab and look it up for yourself because I'm tired of explaining this to people. There's nothing wrong with the Affordable Care Act that can't be fixed. It gives us these four protections. They can't deny us coverage. They can't say, you have MS, we can't cover you, you're too expensive. And because we have MS, they can't charge us more than they charge other people. That's from Obamacare. That came straight from Obamacare. Prior to this, they were charging my mother a fortune for her private health insurance. Luckily, she was running a business while she had MS. They have taken away under Obamacare, under the Affordable Care Act, lifetime caps. I am sure I am over my previous lifetime cap of $2 million worth of treatment. What do I do now? I make too much money to receive Medicaid or Medicare. I'm not old enough for Medicare. But if they, re if they, if they undo as they want to do, as so many people want to do, if they undo Obamacare, which is the Affordable Health Care Act, we're going to have lifetime caps again. What you going to do when you spend all your health insurance money? I guess you're going to be in a wheelchair and suffer. Okay, and here's the other and most important protection that Obamacare gives us. The ACA gives us. They can't deny us for pre-existing conditions. They must cover them. Now, let's just get rid of Obamacare, right? That's a great idea. Um, because now uh, I've been told I'm going to have to rely on the open market. Um, let's talk a little bit about how disgusting it is for some CEO or somebody who bought some stocks and bonds to make money because you and I are sick. Okay, to make profits when they don't even care for us. All right, I have no objection to my MS neurologist making good money. He got a great education. He's spent his lifetime devoted to this. He gives us cost added videos. It's Dr. Aaron Boster. So I have no problem with him driving a better car, living in a better house, buying great food for his family, doing whatever he can do with the money that he makes. I have no objection to the facility I go to paying its workers a living wage, the people who clean the toilets, the people who stock the medicines, the people who set the intravenous, the, the nurses who set the intravenous, uh, intravenous uh, IVs for the disease modifying therapies. I have no problem with pharmacists making a living wage for providing or helping to distribute these drugs to us. I understand there is overhead to run medical care. There is overhead to run medical care, but it needs to be not for profit. No one should be inside the medical care system taking money out of it if they are not directly providing service to you and to me. Now, I am extremely adamant about this issue because I know what MS untreated looks like. Go back in my videos and listen to the story about my mom and listen to how MS is a family disease, okay? And you will understand why I'm terrified by all of this. This genuinely scares me and the anger and the tears are in combination because I know how everything would change if there was no way for me to get treatment. And guess what? If there was no way for you to get treatment, if a company could say, we won't profit off of you because you have MS, we won't profit off of you because you're not going to pay a billion dollars for our drugs. We can't profit off of you because we have to pay a lot of money for you. Well, that's what you're there for. You're there to distribute the money that keeps this healthcare system functioning as immorally and crappy as it already does. 
okay? Let's try a couple of different reforms too, and Dr. Boster, you can weigh in on these. Single cost services. An MRI should cost usual, customary, and reasonable costs, no matter where you have it. And that means if that MRI has a contract with an insurance company that allows them to take less money and you give a copay and that total is $1,000, no one should pay more than $1,000, especially if they don't have insurance. The cost should be a single cost. Dr. Boster seeing you should cost as much as you are being compensated by insurance companies plus our copay. Now, when I've looked at my explanation of benefits, it isn't nearly what your stated cost for a visit is. And that's, I'm sorry, I love you, but that's wrong. That's wrong that you're asking people who can barely function in life because they have no health insurance to pay more than I have to pay. I give you my $45 they give you their 110 or whatever. So that means $155 should be the cost of seeing you for everyone. And if you can't live on $150 per patient visit, then I really question, and this is not you, Dr. Boster, because I know you don't live in the fanciest area of town. I know all that. But I really question what people are doing. If they're charging people with no insurance more money than people with insurance. That's a sick, sick system. Okay? So fine, we don't want socialism in this country. Because that's just so scary. Okay, God forbid we might all have to put into something that we can then take out of that might benefit us when we need it. We can't have that. Apparently we're the only country, only developed country on earth that can't have that because people don't want to be taxed. Well, guess what? You're paying for your health care premiums anyway. Why not put that in a giant general fund, have your employer contri contribute to that giant general fund, and let people take out of it what they need. And if we have to raise taxes to do that, it benefits you too. Do you understand that? Do you understand that there are lots of changes that we could make in this country about how to get treatments paid for so that Dr. Boster can make a nice living, so that his nurses can make a nice living, so that his techs can earn a livable wage, so that they can have benefits too. We're not talking about putting it into a big pot and excluding anyone from that. We all benefit, but God forbid we try to do that in the United States because Everyone who doesn't have the misfortune, the bad luck of being in this situation. I didn't do anything to put myself in this situation. I would do anything to get myself out of this situation. But people profit off of it. And that is the motive of the American system. And if you had bad luck, that's too bad for you. But everyone else, or the, especially the fat cats and the investor class and the chief financial officers and chief executive officers should just be able to make $22 million or $100 million a year while you live off of $1,500 a month if you're lucky and you pay $100 back in for your health insurance and you still have all your co-pays and everything else. And I obviously need to stop this rant because I'm mostly upsetting myself. And if I'm upsetting you in the same way I'm upset, then good. Leave a comment. Let's start a movement. Let's do something. And if I've upset you because you disagree and you think that we shouldn't have the Affordable Care Act or you'd like to see the whole thing blown up and this for-profit medical system continue, this immoral, disgusting system continue, then you know what? I don't care about you. I care about me and I care about the people who are suffering because obviously you're not suffering enough if you think I'm wrong. So I'm gonna end it on that happy note because obviously this is a topic that drives me crazy. Please weigh in on it down below, but you will never ever convince me that I'm wrong.